Hi guys, Saloni this side and welcome back to our channel Codera. So guys, in today's video, I will share a TCS interview experience. And here the candidate was selected for the digital profile. So guys, there were three panels in this interview, which are technical, HR, and managerial. So let's see what was the question interviewer asked him. So the first question interviewer asked him was, which language are you comfortable with? So guys, here you can observe that the, in the first question, interviewer don't ask him to give his introduction. So please don't make any mindset before any interview that your first question will be your introduction. So be prepared for any type of question. So in answer of this question, you can tell any language with which you are comfortable. But be careful because the upcoming question will be related to that technology. So here the answer of the candidate was C language. So after that, the next question interviewer asked him that why have you chosen this language? So to encounter this question, you can tell the interviewer about the characteristic of that language. So after that, the next question interviewer asked him was, have you completed any project using this language? So its answer is completely dependent on you. You can say yes or no. And then he asked any project that you have completed using a different language. So in answer of this question, the candidate told him the Python language. So after this answer, the next question interviewer asked him was, how is C different from the Python? So here are some points that you can mention in answer of this question. So you can say C is a procedure oriented programming language, while the Python is object oriented programming language. And in C, pointers are available while pointers are not available in the Python. So in this way, you can mention three or four points in answer of this question. So after that, the next question interviewer asked him was, what is call by value? So guys, call by value is a very basic concept of C and C++. So in answer of this question, you can say, sir, call by value is a method of parameter passing. And here we have two different types of parameter, which are actual and the formal parameter. So the actual parameter are the argument used in the function call. Whereas the formal parameter are the arguments used in the function definition. So in call by value, the value of the actual parameters is copied into the formal parameters. And in this method, we cannot modify the value of the actual parameter by the formal parameter because the two types of parameters are stored in different locations. So in this way, you can give a brief definition of the call by value. So after that, the next question interviewer asked him was, is there any else you can use in place of call by value? So yes, we can use call by reference in place of call by value because it is also a method of parameter passing. And in this method, the address of the variable is passed into the function call as the actual parameter. And the value of the actual parameter can be modified by changing the formal parameters. Because in this method, we pass the address of the actual parameters. So this is how you can answer this question. So his next question was, what are pointers in C? So guys, basically pointers are the variable which stores the address. And pointers are also known as indicator or locator. And after that, you can also add some advantages of the pointer. So you can say pointer helps to return multiple value from a function. And with the help of pointer, we can reduce the code and it also help in the enhancement of the application performance. And in last, you can add some use case of the pointers. So you can say we use pointer for the dynamic memory allocation and so on. So after this, his next question was, what is a null pointer and what is the use of null pointer? So basically a null pointer is a pointer that does not point to any memory location and following are the uses of the null pointer. So you can mention these points as the use case of null pointer. So after this interviewer asked him what is dangling pointer. So in answer of this question, you can say a pointer pointing to a memory location that has been deleted or freed is called a dangling pointer. And it usually occurs at the time of object destruction. And we can avoid the dangling pointer error just by initializing the pointer to a null value. So in this way, you can answer this question. So guys, if you are choosing C language, then please prepare all the types of pointers very well because this is one of the most important topic from C and C++. 
So after this, the interviewer asked him, "You must have used loops while programming. So how would you write a code to search an element in an array?" So this is very basic question which you can solve using the loops. So the next question was, "Have you worked with DBMS and which one?" So if you know any DBMS, then you can mention its name. And then the interviewer asked him to write a query to create a table in DBMS. So this is a query to create a table in MySQL or Oracle database. So you can pause this screen to note down the query. And his last technical question was what is the use of primary key? So guys to answer this question you can say primary key is a column or a group of column in a table that uniquely identify each row in that table. And a table can't have more than one primary key. and primary key can't be duplicate and it can have only unique values so after this the hr asked him some question so the first question was have you ever scored less than 60% in intermediate high school or college and then he asked do you have any backlogs so in such type of questions you should always tell the truth in the interview and then the interviewer asked if given a tester role are you comfortable So after this the next question was even though you have a lot of offers why do you want to join TCS so in answer of this question you can mention the quality and the achievement of the company so after that he faced some managerial question so his first question was have you thought of going for higher studies so if your answer is no then you can say sir i have no plans for further studies because i want to gain work experience and want to apply my learning and skills and suppose if your answer is yes then directly saying yes you can say sir currently i have no plans for higher studies but after some years of my career growth i may go for further studies so this is how you can handle this question and after that his next question was is this your first interview So you can say yes or no in answer of this question it's completely dependent on you. And after this he asked how many interviews have you given before this and which companies. So you can mention the name of the company in answer of this question if you have given any interview before this interview. So after his answer the next question was so why do you want to join TCS and not those companies? So in answer of this question you should mention the qualities and some positive point about the TCS. And guys here I would suggest you before giving any interview you should have the complete knowledge about the company like on what technology company is currently working and what are its future goals or what are the achievements of the company. So you should have the complete knowledge about it. So it will help you a lot in your interviews. So after that his next question was is there any hackathon you have participated so if you have participated then you can give the details about the hackathon or else you can say no and then his next question was in your accomplished and ongoing projects you worked alone or in a team so here you can answer accordingly and then his next question was what was your role in this projects so here you can explain about your role in the projects and then his next question was where do you see yourself in the 5 years so to answer this question always keep this points in your mind so first is you should have a clear idea about your goal after this find a connection between your goal and the job description and while answering always focus on the skills you want to learn and never be so specific about any job title like Don't say after 5 year I want to become a manager of my team. This will be wrong answer. And also never say I want your job or I don't know its answer right now. This will create a wrong impression on the interviewer. So here is one example. So you can say like as a fresher I look forward to learning new things and improving my knowledge. In 5 year I want to see my career developing with your organization. I plan to do so by completing lots of training development courses and by working on a challenging projects which will enhance my skills and want to be a valuable asset for the organization. So this is how you can beautifully answer this question. So after that his next question was if work at TCS is very demanding then how will you manage that? So here the interviewer wants to know that how will you work in a stressful situation 
और इफ देर इज एनी डेड लाइन गिवन टू यू देन हाउ विल यू एक्ट इन सच टाइप ऑफ सिचुएशन एंड देन हिज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज वॉट इज बिजनेस फोर पॉइंट ओ सो गाइज बिजनेस फोर पॉइंट ओ इज अ टर्म कॉइन बाई टी सी एस एंड इट हैज फोर बिजनेस एंड फोर टेक्नोलॉजी पिलर्स सो द फोर टेक्नोलॉजी पिलर्स आर अजाइल ऑटोमेशन इनोवेशन एंड क्लाउड एंड द बिजनेस पिलर्स आर मास पर्सनलाइजेशन इम्प्रेसिंग रिस्क एक्सपोनशियल ग्रोथ एंड लेवरेजिंग इको सिस्टम सो हिज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज वॉट इफ वी गिवन अ नॉन डेवलपर रोल वुड यू स्टिल वर्क विथ अस सो गाइज इफ यू आर रियली कम्फर्टेबल इन अ नॉन डेवलपर रोल देन यू कैन से यस आई विल वर्क विथ यू इन आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन एंड सपोज इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट अ नॉन डेवलपर रोल देन यू कैन से यस आई विल डेफिनेटली वर्क विथ यू बट आई एम मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन अ डेवलपर रोल सो आफ्टर दिस हिज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज For how long would you work for TCS? So, guys, here is one example answer of this question. So, you can say, sir, I am confident that this company can offer me a fulfilling and exciting career, and I want to remain with you as long as I am having a positive impact on the enterprise. So, in this way, you can answer this question. And in the last, the interviewer asked him, "Are you willing to relocate?" So, now our next question is, would you be willing to relocate if required? so its answer is completely depend on you its answer may be yes or no but here i would suggest you to say yes because every company wants the employee who is flexible who can relocate according to the company's need so if your answer is yes so you can say like yes i am very excited about this opportunity to use my skills and i love to visit different cities and to meet new people so i am definitely open to relocate and suppose if you will say no in answer of this question then the interviewer may think that you are very particular about the job location so in case of this situation instead of directly saying no you should say like i do love living in indore and would prefer to stay here however for the right opportunity i would be willing to consider relocating if necessary so this is how you can answer this question So guys that's all about TCS interview experience and if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching